How do you decide between Keelan and Andrew? Who's punting in what situation? Yeah, you know, Andrew's uh, Andrew's sky punt is, is uh, I mean, it's been it's been fantastic so far. So it's kind of like a lob wedge if you think of it that way. Um, kind of kind of hit it a certain distance, and, he, and he's very dialed on where it is. Has great hang time, which gives us a great chance to get down there and catch it like uh, like the Carlos did. So um, he's really kind of taken over that responsibility um, primarily. You know, and Keelan's kind of the open field guy, but Andrew still does have a role in some other open field situations. So it's kind of uh, just played out as it goes from here. What did you make of Kyle's Poise's first road game as, as a college student? You got 78,000 fans screaming against him, and he's you know, knocked them all through from 45 plus again. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's excited for the moment and, and, and for the challenge. And uh, you know, I was over there fist pumping a little bit to some of their music, and he was he was doing the same. And so it was uh, it's good to kind of feed off that energy and, and him to go out there and, and uh, execute. What's what's sort of the dynamic between you and, and, and Matt Brock in, in a situation where you know special teams does their job and downs you know two punts at the one two two yard line you know defense can't stop them from going down the field I guess so how do you sort of well, handle that between you got you two when when you know it affects both of you I guess yeah I mean listen man those guys are trying to make plays and unfortunately they only got a, got a couple conversions there and there was a penalty involved but um, you know our job on special teams is to help everybody else you know it's trying to help the offense help, and trying to help the defense you know on the, on the cover units and. Uh, all we can do is try and give them the best situation possible, and then they were cheering for those guys to make plays. So, um, no, no, no real communication there. And it's you know, pat him on the back like I would anybody else, uh, like a player, and vice versa. We're not going to make we're going to have games too. We give up some plays, right? and I expect you know, we all kind of pick each other up to make sure we, we don't, you know make the corrections and then and then move forward. You know, when a guy is that hot, I mean, do you just want to keep feeding him, or do you have to sometimes look it off and say we need to mix With him it up? even when he's not that hot? Right? <laughs> you just want to get him the ball because he can do that. On the, I mean. One of them, he's running a six-yard stop route, basically, and it turns into a 30-yard game. So that's the kind of stuff he can do, and that's why you you draw plays to get the ball in his hand. I asked uh, Kevin yesterday about J-Rob because he had a season high in yards and catches, I think, too. Just how important getting him more involved in, in these next couple games and getting his confidence up a little bit more. Um, huge for us because we need that on the outside. Obviously, you got two inside, but he's been consistent outside. Not the catches or production he wants, but you turn on the film, and I mean, It was good to get him involved in the passing game. Your team clearly put in a lot of work last week to get on the same page with Will. Uh, what, what what changed? What improved from last week that you know that you that you liked? Um, I think just m more so timing, um, being locked in throughout the week and, and executing throughout the week, executing the game plan, and again going out there and knowing what to expect from when we got to capitalize on it. Back on Tulu, did Joe even realize he was approaching record numbers when he was no doing all idea. that? No <laughs> idea. No idea. We just know find him and get him the ball. When you have a mix of him and Zapian and sometimes throwing Creed out there as well, I mean, they all play similar positions, but you need to get your playmakers in the field somehow. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the biggest question right now. How do you get all those guys on the field at the same time? Um, because that's when we're, I think, for my group, that's when we're at our best. Um, so it's just a personnel deal. And again, all of them are playing well. Nobody's doing anything wrong. It's just a matter of we got so many spots, mm -hmm. you know, and we just got to figure out which plays we can get these guys in position to do it. Do you work with Antonio during the week at all? Because he's almost playing now back to a yeah. slot receiver, um, which is tight end. Not really. He's mostly with the tight ends. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to have him, though. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the versatility he gives you almost as a fourth receiver there. Yeah, absolutely. You have to treat him as such, right? Because he is a receiving threat, but he's also very physical and dominant in the run game. So he's a, he's a weapon for sure. Alabama, obviously, one of the, the best defensive backfields in the country. Uh, what do you see out of them on film? What's it going to take to make some plays against that group? Um, Typical Alabama defense, you know, uh, but it's a challenge, and I think we're up for it. We're we're excited, um, and they know what they're up against. They got good guys at all levels, right? In the back end, you got corners, you got the safeties, you got nickels, you got guys that can play everywhere and that have played. So it's a big challenge, and I think we're up for it. We got to make some plays downfield, right? You're gonna beat this team. You got to take shots, and you got to you got to make some of these plays. Now that this offense has made some shots, several in the same game, what does that do for the rest of the passing game, or for that matter, for the run game? Um, biggest thing is confidence, right? Opens up some things downfield, but um, I think it, it, you can't load the box as much anymore, right? You got to respect the deep ball and what can happen on the back end. So I think it opens us up a little bit. Good. Two, two games now we've seen. Would, would he get a little dinged up? When you're on the sideline, you see that. Does your, does your heart sink a little bit? Well, you know, uh, football is a violent game. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, those those things happen not just you know 
uh, to our team, but they happen to everybody. Yeah. So uh, you just have to keep keep playing, you know, keep moving forward, and and uh, you know, and and that's really all that you can do because you're in the heat of battle. With that being said, how you, how you like the depth that's behind, behind Woody and of what the other guys have been able to give you? Well, that's uh, that, that's been a, a real positive for us to have. Uh, you know, a position group that has kids that have experience that have been in football games before and that are hungry to get on the field and play. So uh, that's something that um, uh, our kids look forward to and they all want to play and they all want to contribute. So they look forward to the opportunity of getting a chance to play. Now that you're four games into the season, how do you figure out who gets in when or is it kind of by feel each game? Well, it, it, each one of them have a unique skill set. And it, 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 a lot depends on who we're playing and what they're trying to do defensively. You know, some teams, uh, you know, bring a lot of pressure and uh, some teams uh, play more zone coverage and some teams play more man coverage. And, you know, so it, it all just depends on the personality of the team that we're playing to find the right fit mm -hmm. for us that can go in the game and match whatever their physicality or their scheme or whatever it may be. So all of them, uh, do everything they can to be ready for that moment. We, we've seen a little bit less of Seth Davis the past two games, I guess, from your perspective. What's, what's I guess, changed with him since the start of SEC play? Well, not not a lot, not a lot. It, you know, a lot of it's uh, opportunity and, and timing and all of those things like that. And, and Seth's a, a, a young player that has a bright future and a great future. So he comes to grind every day. He still works hard every day. And his moment will come, and when his moment comes, uh, you know, he has to be ready to shine. Going, going back to the Woody thing, uh, Kevin yesterday said it's hard to tell when he's actually injured just because he always wants to, you know, get back in the game. So how do you sort of handle that as his position coach? Well, you know, he's a competitor and very competitive. And, you know, uh, the SEC is a tough physical league. And, and uh, you know, they, they, they're physical and they hit people and they practice and things like that. And, you know, just like we do and everybody else does. So uh, things happen, but, you know, you have to, uh, you know, you have to persevere and you have to keep fighting through those things. Your guys were able to make some plays in pass protection as well. We saw Jeff Pittman uh, make a key block on a, on a fourth down conversion. You know, what's it like for you? Know, how, how important is it for them to have that, that kind of versatility? And well, they, it, you know, it's, it's two things that they have to be able to do is uh, protect the ball and protect the quarterback. And uh, we say, if you can't do those two things, we can't trust you to put you in a game because, like I said, the game is violent and you know, there are big guys that's running through there that's trying to sack your quarterback or big guys trying to tackle you and take the ball away. So uh, we have to be able to trust and have the confidence that they can go on the field and carry out those assignments. As your guys watch the wide receivers making those vertical plays, they start thinking, hmm, maybe those boxes are going to be a little bit lighter for us now. <laughs> well, uh, I, I think uh, the team that we were playing, uh, they, they – uh, had some pa packages of pressure and mm -hmm. you know that's what they, they do what mm -hmm. they do and they weren't going to stop doing it mm -hmm. and so that's kind of how the game unfolded. Mm -hmm. Alabama like they always are real strong up front uh, what's going to take to generate some chunk plays in the run game? Well it's, 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 it's any, any team in the SEC West uh, you know especially teams like Alabama big strong athletic tough uh, and it's, this is the SEC is a line of scrimmage league both sides of the ball and the team that wins the line of scrimmage usually is the team that uh, comes out on top. 